Sling Free is a completely free ad-supported TV streaming service offered by Dish-owned Sling TV. It's not a free trial of Sling TV. Instead, it's a collection of Sling Free channels and shows that you can watch for free. In this Sling Free review, we show you how to get it, what you can watch, and help you decide if it's worth your time. Yeah, when reviewing an ad-supported free streaming service, people often say it's free, so you can't go wrong. But time is money, and we think that just because something is free doesn't necessarily mean that it's worth your time. So use our review to see if this way to watch movies and TV shows for free is right for you. Let's dive in. What is Sling Free? Well, it's a free streaming app. It's not a way to watch Sling TV for free, even if it is marketed that way. If you want to learn more about Sling Orange, Blue, or its other paid plans, watch our Sling TV review video. It's best to think of Sling TV Free as a sampling of some of the content you'd get with a paid Sling subscription. Sling describes it as having more than 100 live channels and more than 40,000 on-demand free TV shows and movies. We'll get into what's on Sling Free in a moment, but some of the more popular shows on the free streaming service include Hell's Kitchen and ABC News Live. Now, let's talk about how to get Sling Free. On a computer or device, go to watch.sling.com and start watching. It's that easy. If you want to watch the free streaming platform on a TV, you need to create a free account. You will only need to provide your email address and create a password. No credit card is required to start. After creating an account, download the Sling TV app to your TV or streaming device and sign in with your email address and password. If you are a Sling subscriber with a paid plan, you can access free content through the Sling app as well. Just go to Guide, then click Free on the subheadings within the guide. It's located just between movies and kids. Clicking that option will filter the guide to show just Sling free channels, which you can browse and watch. That's it. Just a few simple steps and you're able to watch TV shows for free. Now let's take a look at the platform, including what's on it and what it's like to use it. On your TV or at watch.sling.com, you'll see a homepage with four options across the top. Home, Guide, On Demand, and DVR. Next to that is a big orange button that says Upgrade, followed by a search icon and a profile icon. And as Sling tells you plainly, you are watching free content. For more content, sign in or click Upgrade. Scrolling down, you'll see rows of content starting with Recommended for You and a free channel spotlight. You'll see what's new on Sling Free, trending live and on-demand content, movies and shows, global news, and classic TV. Clicking right reveals more titles in each category of content. Clicking on any show brings up more information about it, including what's available now on the free TV streaming service and the live schedule. You can scroll down to explore and watch various episodes. Continuing to scroll down reveals more and more rows of content, including two helpful rows at the bottom that let you browse by genre and channel. Clicking the guide brings up a cable-like grid guide that lets you browse content by channel and content type. Some of the features we like about paid sling are present here in the free version too, which is pretty nice. Yeah, you can favorite channels and then you can browse just your favorites by clicking that tab near the top. You can also filter channels alphabetically by recently viewed, sports, news, movies, and kids. Clicking right takes you forward in time through the guide. As you scroll, you'll see some Spanish language channels as well as channels with a sampling of live or on-demand content from popular networks like AMC, Stars, and Showtime. Just keep in mind, you'll get an episode or two of some shows. You aren't going to get full seasons or series of shows. And some of the content you'll get, as is the case with Stars, will be on demand. You're not going to get the live feed of any of these channels. If you want that, you'll have to upgrade to Paid Sling, which the service is happy to remind you of. You can add any show to your watch list and watch the latest episode with the press of a button. Once playing a show, additional settings and options become available. You can turn on closed captions and adjust the video quality from low to high or best. You can rewind in 10 second increments or fast forward 30 seconds at a time. You can also remove or add an item to your watch list from this view. Clicking the square icon with the play button brings the guide back up. Clicking the on demand tab at the top brings up shows and movies you can watch on demand. You'll see featured content up top followed by rows of categories just like on the home screen. You can also further filter content with a sub menu up top with options to see all, my watch list, 
movies, TV shows, rentals, and kids. When you get to rentals, you'll see a price listed in the top right corner for every title. You can rent new release action adventure movies, kids movies, comedy, new releases, and more. Finally, there's a kids section. There are just a few rows of content here, including family movie favorites, kids shows, and titles for tweens. Honestly, it's not a very impressive collection of kids content, and this is where many people would say, but it's free, so you can't complain. But as we saw in our Tubi vs. Pluto review video, Tubi has a very robust kids section, including a Tubi Kids setting that changes the entire library to kid-friendly content. And Tubi is also totally free, which just goes to show that not all free services are equal and not all offer the same content. So it's worthwhile to find the ones that have more of the content you and your household watch and spend time with those, rather than in ones with libraries that don't fit your interests. And yeah, now there's just one more setting to cover and that's the DVR tab. We're honestly not sure why they include it on Sling Free, other than it was probably easier from a programming perspective, because it says clearly that there is no DVR with Sling Free. If you want that, you'll need to upgrade to their paid plans. Sling's basic plans include a 50-hour DVR, but you can upgrade to more capacity for an additional fee. Before we talk about a few other free services worth your time, let's cover supported devices. You can watch on your computer through a web browser. Chrome, Safari, and Edge are all supported. You can also watch on a phone or tablet, or one of the many smart TVs or streaming devices like Roku and Fire TV that Sling supports. Now, let's wrap up by mentioning a few other free services worth a look, which you may prefer to Sling Free, or you may want to use in addition to it. As we covered in our video on the best free streaming services, you have lots of options, which is great. Tubi, Pluto, and Crackle are three of the top ones. If you're looking for A-list movies and TV series that are well organized into a broad variety of categories and a good kid section, go with Tubi. If you prefer live TV and want a service that's going to make it easy to find something mindless to have on in the background, choose Pluto. And if you like documentaries, 90s comedy shows, reality series, and action films, you'll find a lot to enjoy on Crackle. You can watch all three without an account, though creating one unlocks features that you may find useful, like having a watch list on Tubi or seeing your favorited channels across devices and kids mode on Pluto. The good news is that free ad-supported TV streaming services are launching all the time, and the top ones keep adding content. In that regard, it's a good time to be a streamer as you have options. Test the top ones and find your favorites. Create accounts in those to maximize your viewing experience. Well, that does it for this video. What do you think of Sling Free? What other free services do you use? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so we can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.